All right, so in the uh, one of the last videos I was making, uh, we came across this issue where we couldn't access the um, compass, which is like kind of like Voyager's kind of like helpful little panel. Uh, I think it was when we were, let's say, editing a menu item uh, for the admin. And I think it was like editing one of these. So like if you wanted to view this, normally there's like a panel here or page that you can see like the fonts or the icons that are available with Voyager as well as uh, some of the commands and like I think logs but when I tried to access this in the last video this was I got this error or this exception and so I wasn't sure what was causing it and so I wanted to show how to show that in case anybody's been following along and they get the same issue uh, so basically what it is let's um, if we look at this uh, exception we're getting permission does not exist. And if we look closely, we can say uh, there's this one that's browse compass that apparently we need. Uh, so I don't know how to access it through the, like in this area, like I would think it would be on roles, but it doesn't seem to be on, like it doesn't seem to like have anything here that's like compass or admin roles or anything like that. I'm assuming the admin already has those roles. Uh, so if you actually like go into the database and you looked at the permissions, okay, it looks like this is where permissions are stored and then permissions are applied to a role ID. And I think our user, right, has a role ID. So anybody who has that permission uh, would be, would have anybody who here has a permission role uh, needs that permission. And then if you actually go into the source code um, for Voyager and you look at the seeds because uh, I thought it was originally going to be in a migration but it's not it's actually in the seed uh, because all of the data is actually in seeds right so if we go to the permissions table uh, it looks like there's a bunch of permissions that it's generating here uh, for like menus pages these are the standard things that come with Voyager but there's also this browse admin, browse database, browse media, browse compass. And if we go to our database, we have at the beginning, browse admin, browse database, browse media, but then no compass, right? So I think what the solution here, and I think this is because we updated from uh, version 0 0.11 or whatever to 1.0. Uh, so we need to add a permission here for browse compass. And I think we can leave it null because these other ones up the top are null. So we'll just leave that null and then we'll set the time. All right. So now if we come back, maybe we can access this now. Okay. So we're getting an unauthorized HTTP exception. Uh, so essentially, right. That's saying that we don't have permission. And if you think about it, the way the database is structured, we have this permissions role. So if we look at the one we just added, which is 51, and then we look at the role, right. We didn't create it through the, admin so that this isn't like an automatic relationship that's created for us. So I think we need to add one here for our new role and assign it to the admin. So if we go ahead and do that, then maybe we can access this. Ooh, and yes, it looks like we can. So now we have access to these resources, which are like links to the documentation, the Voyager homepage, Voyager hooks, shows us the icons that we can access and stuff like that, different ways to do it, these commands, and then we have like logs. So anyway, I just wanted to show how to re uh, or grant permission for Compass, and that way anybody who was following along would be able to get this back up to essentially, I guess, 1.0 working the way it should. I guess at some point, too, you might need to add a menu item, so let's go ahead and do that for Compass just to make it easier to access. So let's see, add new, I guess we'll say Compass... Uh, it's going to be admin compass. And now that we can access it, we could actually probably grab a compass or, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, well, let's do the helm here. That'll work. I'm not too worried about it. And let's go ahead and update that. And let's say maybe we want to throw this in tools because... It's a, it seems maybe more like a tool to me. So we refresh that, we got tool, now we can go to compass, and now we have that back. So that's pretty much, I think, all you need to do to work to get compass set up uh, from an earlier version to the 1.0 version. Uh, I guess either I didn't do it properly, 
or somehow I missed that step. I don't know. But anyway, that's how you fix it. So there you go.